ever. Who believes that? Amen. 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 Thank God for his grace. Oh, thank what God you're doing. for his mercy. Thank God for all of his goodness unto us. Yeah. Amen. 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 The Lord is not slack yes, concerning on, his promise. His promise. <laughs> Praise him. Amen. Amen. He's not slack concerned his promises. So we're going to start our new lesson today. We say praise the Lord to everybody. All of our family and friends that are with us online. I ask that you share us today. Amen. I'm sharing. Praise God. Because I want to reach somebody. Amen. Amen. I want somebody to say, what must I do to be saved? Amen. And on this morning, praise God, we are moving into what I like to call the greatest time of the year. Not just this Christmas time, but from Christmas to Pentecost. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I think this is the greatest time of the year. It starts now with the birth of Christ. We move through the springtime with his death, his burial, and his resurrection. And then it culminates in the outpouring of the Spirit of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. So celebrate and know that the Lord is with us. Amen? Amen? And on today, our lesson is sorrow before triumph. Amen. And Deacon Gould has already shared with us the golden text in our lesson outline. The lesson today, as we start this new unit, um, the, our, our winter quarter called the whole, the unit is just called, the whole quarter is called triumph. So I believe the Lord wants you to be victorious. Amen. I got one amen. I'm gonna say amen. I believe the Lord wants us to be victorious. Amen. 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 And we are we are more, we already know that we are already more than. Amen. You know, remember in Matt, we had a little sign that had the it go like it go like this. Someone don't talk about don't you? And the, the, it's, it's greater than or less than and the and the open side is more. Than the part that it's pointing to. Amen. I know I'm taking somebody back back a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're on that on that side where it's opened up. Uh -huh. Amen. We are on that other side pointing pointing. We are on the other side where it's opening up. I want you to see yourself and, and and focusing yourself on God doing greater things. God increasing your spiritual capacity. Amen. Watch this. God making you a greater blessing to someone. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I mean, you didn't amen. Too, amen. Too, amen. But, 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 but all this is about expansion of the kingdom. Yeah. Amen. In, in my personal life, uh -huh. because when we expand as people, the body that you're associated with expands also. Uh -huh. amen. amen. So we have to focus on the expansion of us as individuals. Yeah. So it is now what December fifth, right? Yeah. Twenty twenty one. So when by the grace of God, two ways to look at this. One, I'm not where I was December fifth, twenty twenty. Amen. 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 And I'm I am prophesying to myself. To myself. <laughs> that I'm going to be in a better, bigger, greater place in God when I, by His grace, December fifth. 2022. All right. I thought I had some people of faith in the house of God. Amen. amen. So our lesson today, very familiar passage of scripture, amen, um, about who, what Jesus is, amen. And this, this lesson kind of moves around, but we want to follow it anyway. Amen? amen. So let's go ahead and read verses 18 through 21, dealing with this momentous announcement. And we're going to talk about it. Please ask some questions. Please have your input. Please, for those of you who are online, put in a comment. We, we are monitoring that line so we can uh, have some actual live feedback with you. So let's read 18 through 21. Amen? Amen? It says, Now the birth of Jesus was on this wise when his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make a public example, was mine to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take thee, Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, 
and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Amen. So here in the book of Matthew, Matthew was a was was the one of the synoptic gospels, Matthew. Amen. Primary audience. Anybody know who Matthew's primary audience was? Because each gospel had a different audience. The Jews. The Jews, that's right. So in the book of Matthew, you're going to see a lot more references to the law of Moses right. Right. than you are going to see in uh, Luke and John and Mark. Right. So so here, the Matthew is the one who's writing primarily to an audience that understood and under no, under no, understand and knows what uh, uh, Abraham was doing and what Moses was doing and requiring of the people. Amen. And he uses this information to bring them to Jesus. Right. Amen? Amen. And he says here, he says that Jesus Christ was on this wise. The birth of Christ was on this wise when his mother Mary was a spouse. And his espousing was a Jewish custom. Right. His espousing was where when two people had agreed to get together, even though they were not officially married, they were already already promised to one another. Amen. 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 And and so there was like it wasn't like you have an engagement, then you break it off. Once you get a spouse, you're good to go. You move forward. Though the culmination of marriage has not taken place yet. And this would be for a period of time. As a matter of fact, in the Jewish custom, I love the Jewish custom in this point. Right. In the sense that after you got married, you got a whole year off. Yeah. To spend with your wife. Right. And your family and your friends supported you. Yeah. Amen. We need to go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Praise him. Praise him. But that's part of that was all part of the espousal yeah. agreement. Right. Amen. And what had happened was in the midst of their espousal, the Holy Ghost overshadows Mary. Yeah. And 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 the word, the Bible, the Bible says uh, uh, that the Holy Ghost shall overshadow thee. Amen. And 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 this holy thing that shall be key and see her shall be of the Holy Ghost, shall be called the Son of Jesus. And uh, you might say, well, what is found Mary? It was the word. I'm going to give you a little biology, spiritual biology. Is that okay? Uh, it was the word. Because when, uh, uh, the man produces the seed. Right. And Jesus told us that the seed was the word. word. So what was deposited in Mary? The word. seed of the word was deposited in Mary. And the seed of the sanctified spiritual word connected with the humanness of the female and the human egg. And Jesus showed up. Right. Amen. Being both God right. and, and the Word and man. That's why John can say in the beginning was the Word. word. And the Word was with, with God. God and the Word with God. And the Word became flesh. Yeah. There you go. Amen. Praise Him. And, and if you remember biology class, you get a full portion from your mother, a full portion of information from your father, and that's what makes you who you are. Amen. Amen. So Jesus, so so you are all your father, all your mother, all mixed up together. Amen. In different combinations. That's why you look like your brother or look like your sister, but you're not your sister right. or Amen. you're not your brother. Amen. Unless you are identical twins. That's another topic right now. <laughs> so here, so what I want you to understand is that, that this follows the principles of the laws of nature. It was just a spiritual seed instead right. of a human seed. Put into marriage. Right. Amen. Because remember, Jesus came, he did not come to destroy the law. He came to follow what was already in place. Amen. Right. Amen? Right. That's why he had to come in flesh. Because where was sin committed? In the flesh. Sin was committed in the flesh. Right. So, so God had to come, as, the, as Paul says, in the likeness of sinful flesh to destroy the works of sin. In the flesh, that you might be, come on, right, right, that you right, might be the, the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Praise Him. Get happy. Let me calm down here. Right. He says, Here he says, so, so they came together. What was in her was of the Holy Ghost. Amen. But Joseph did not quite have this spiritual understanding. Amen. Amen. And he being, in a, and I thank God in verse 19 that the Bible says that Joseph being what? A fair man, yeah. a yeah. just man. That means that Joseph had a mind that was not closed. He had a mind that was able to perceive the things of God. Right. Y'all remember the woman at the well? Yeah. Um, yeah. Jesus shows up. Amen. He talks to her, asks her a few questions. She said, I perceive thou art a prophet. Aren't you glad? Right. She had an open mind. Amen. <laughs> praise him. And guess what? The Lord wants us to have an open mind to yeah. receive the word. Yeah. Yeah. So that, praise God, though we have traditions, right. though we have customs, right. though we have ways about ourselves, there can be a change in our life Amen. because I'm not I'm not a I'm not a, a, a supporter of 
always was, always will be. I know that's right. Amen. Amen. I'm going to leave that alone. Right. Yes, go ahead. And so that goes back to the scripture I said this morning. But we all with open face behold us in the glass. Amen. We are all to be, be changed. That's Change. Like, this is who I am. This is who I will always be. That's not God's, that's, that's not supported by scripture. But I, I believe that these scriptures in Matthew can also help to prove the oneness of God. Because the child that was conceived in Mary was of the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost was the Father. Mm -hmm. So they're all one. All one. Praise him. Amen. Amen. Any other comments? Praise the Lord. Anyone? So so we see here, praise God, that he being a just man, yeah. and he did not want to destroy Mary Mary's image. Right. Or her reputation. Or her reputation. Right. He right. had enough kindness and concern that right. he did not want to just put her away because he understood what would happen to her yeah, if, so. praise God, yeah. amen, he did this. Right. And he said, you know what, I'm just going to do this privately. I'm going to put her away. He, had, he was minded, but the Bible said he hadn't done it yet, but he was thinking that way. Right, and, right. and that's why church, amen, we wait on the Lord long enough. He will speak to our hearts and give us some, uh, some leadership and guidance in what we ought to do. Amen. 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 He says here, you know, he said he thought, he thought based on his information he currently had, that was going to be the best Amen. Alternative. Right. Amen. And how do you know that when we make decisions on our own, on. we're working on limited information? Amen. Amen. That's why the Bible says that the steps of a good man, oh, that's mankind, right. men and women, right. the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. By the Lord. So right. we have to understand, church, that we sometimes we got to wait on God. As a matter of fact, we need to wait on God all the time. I know Amen. that's right. Amen. Praise God. So he was waiting. He was just saying, he said, you know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? Praise God. Amen. And while he was waiting, trying to make sure he makes the right decision, because how many of us know, you know, as we, as, as we have uh, increased in age, that's a good way to put it, isn't it? As we have increased in age, amen, we find out that some decisions we made had totally impacted our lives. Right. Amen. One decision. So he wanted to make sure he was going to make what? The right decision. Right. Amen. amen. And, and he says here, but while, verse 20, while he, he thought on these things, Amen. While he was trying to decide what he was going to do, amen, God shows up and appears to him in a dream. Amen. 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 Yeah. Uh, because Mary was a, 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 a favored above all women. So Mary had God on her track. Come on. And God was, was, in, was keeping Mary, yeah. amen, by the angels. Right. Because the Bible says that the angel of the Lord had come around about them that what? Fear him. That fear him. And we know that Mary feared God yeah, she because she received the word. That's right. Come on. When you able to receive the word, you're fearing God. Come on. I'm scared of those folks who can't receive the word. Come on. The word's clear. The word is just. The word's right. Well, you know. <laughs> That's not a fear of God. But she received the word, so right. she humbled herself. Mm -hmm. She reverenced God. So, so the angel of the Lord her. So the angel of the Lord shows up and says, hey, Joseph, I, I got another piece of information I need to give you before you make your decision. Right. It was still his decision, though. That's right. Yeah. Praise God. Now, one thing I want us to understand is that even though God gives direction, Come on. even That's though God good. gives us understanding, right. it is still our responsibility to execute that plan. Right. Amen. amen. Right. Praise God. The Holy Ghost encourages us. The Holy Ghost moves us. Amen. The Holy Ghost, amen, motivates us. But it's still our decision right. to make that, make that, make that uh, uh, decision. Praise God. But he says, he says, Joseph. Uh, he lets them know who Joseph is, because Joseph might not know who he was. He said, Joseph, son of David, right. he let us know that he's in the lineage of, of the priesthood. Right. Amen. And that God is on his, amen, praise God, on, on his case, right. if you please. He says, uh, he said, and, and here we see here that he spoke to him in a dream. Amen. He spoke to him in the midst of, and, and that's what God said he would do. He said he would deal with us in dreams and visions. Right. Amen. Uh, but but remember last quarter, he dealt with Moses face to face. Come on. Remember, we last week, man, Moses, man, last week, <laughs> last quarter was a fight. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Moses was fighting. Yeah. And there are times in aspects and seasons in our lives where we got to fight. fight. Yeah. Amen. And, 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 but now he's dealing with Joseph. He's letting them know you are the son of of the king. Right. Praise God. Kingship. Amen. And he says, fear not. There it is. Fear not to take Mary, thy wife, mm -hmm. because that which is known or done unto her is of the things of God. 
Right. Amen. It's of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Right. Amen. And 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 so so Joseph had to receive that word. That's right. Here I got now how in the world. <laughs> right. My wife is right. pregnant. Right. Reach pound stuff. And I ain't do and nothing. And I didn't do it. I ain't do I nothing. Didn't. <laughs> I remember when lady, my pillows, I'm not going to call it lady, but uh, he in the house. But uh, oh, he, 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 I, I said, oh, lady brought me, he said, Who's it, who did that? <laughs> I ain't called no lady. But I, I think about that, I just laugh. I said, I did it. <laughs> Praise him. Amen. But he had to receive the word. Right. So God had to give him a, a spiritual endowment of understanding. I believe this is me. I believe God had to give him a spiritual endowment to receive the word and trust God at his word. Right. Because here was a here was a I see hand. Hey, there was a chance where, where Joseph had a chance. His faith now, Joseph's faith is being tried. That's right. I mean his faith being tried. I said, let me do my best Bishop Leslie present. I said his faith is being tried. Right. Amen. Right. I see a hand in hand. I see right. two hands. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. And so what a lot of what a lot of people don't realize just reading the scriptures is for him to be obedient to the word meant he was actually joining his reputation to hers. Because the people outside ain't gonna understand that. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, so that's why you took it. Because y'all did something. Think about it. He was giving up his own reputation to make sure that she was covered. Mm -hmm. And I I've I've mentioned this to my children. The hardest part of being blessed is being obedient. You right. have, when you're obedient, you're saying, I trust what you're saying. I trust the way it's going to come out. I trust that you know what you're talking about. So being obedient is the hardest thing that he could do. It was the hardest thing for Mary to do. She said, let it be unto me as, as thou hast said. It was hard for her to submit herself like that because she knew that her husband may not decide, oh, yeah, this is of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, right. Okay, got you. Uh-huh. You see, because think about it. Who did God give it to first? He gave it to Mary first. Gave her the word. Then who did he come to second? The man who was the leader. He had a right to put her away. You see what I'm saying? So I think the hardest thing ever is being obedient. And that's why I said, Lord, just help me be obedient to what you tell me. Because you're right. He told, he gave Joseph the, the word. Mm -hmm. Joseph still had a choice. Had a choice. Amen. Dean Murray, I see your hand back there. Yeah, I was just thinking about the Holy Ghost was in Mary. Holy Ghost had not yet been given. So how and, and, and what, you know, the Bible doesn't say the time frame that that from when the word was spoken to when Joseph agreed, right? So did he ponder overnight? Did he ponder for a week? Whatever it was. But he didn't have the Holy Ghost, right? Mm -hmm. So how hard was that for him not even having the Holy Ghost? Then I think back to us today. How hard it is sometimes for us with the Holy Ghost to, be to make yeah. a righteous decision sometimes. Amen. And you know, it shows, this also shows another principle that God does is that God knows how to reach who he wants to reach. Amen. Amen. With the Holy Ghost or without, or without. As a matter of fact, before all of us got saved, we received the word. That's right. Yeah. Without the Holy That's Ghost. That's right, man. Without the Holy Ghost. Because faith comes by hearing. 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 Hearing by the, the word, word, of God. word of God. How can they hear? Except, except. Uh, uh, how can they hear without a preacher? Amen. How can he preach except, except he be sent. sent and not went? <laughs> That's right. Because when he sent, the anointing's on his life. That's right. Amen. The anointing has the ability to touch the heart of the sinner. That's right. Or the one who does not have the Holy Ghost proper, if you please. If I use if I can use that terminology. Amen. So that they can then be converted. Praise him. Right, Amen. Amen. And, and a conversion or a change is what God wants to do in the life of the people right. of the earth. Right. He wants to change them. That's right. If any man be in Christ, he's a what? New creature. Old things are what? Pass away, old all things are become new. Praise God. It has to be a conversion. So, so Joseph had to receive the word. He had to understand, and it was an act of his faith. Right. Amen. Right. Sometimes I don't think Joseph gets enough credit. That's right. That's right. I think I think two things we do. We don't give Joseph enough credit, right. and we beat too much on uh our, our times. But that's another story. Because <laughs> both of those were yes. faith trials. That's right. Their faith was on trial. That's right. Amen. And now Joseph's faith was on trial. Amen. And and look, look, he says, he says, look, he take. Take her, Mary, thy wife, go ahead and receive her, because the thing which is conceived in her 
Amen. It's of the Holy Ghost. Right. And he tells her, and God tells him exactly what he's going to do. Right. He says, and she shall bring forth a son. Come on. Amen. And he shall call his name Jesus. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. And it was it was the father's responsibility That's right, to, to name, name the, child. the child. That's right. Amen. We find that out when um, John. John was born. That's right. Remember, John, uh, John was born and Zacharias in the temple. They said, we got the right name, John, in the, in, the, in, in the lineage, and his name shall be John. That's right. Praise God. So he was now given instruction to him, amen, on a need-to-know basis and right. at the right place, at the right time right. to move us forward. And has, has anybody ever got a word, amen, that was right on time? Amen. 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 Got a word that was right on time. Praise God. Amen. And he says here, Amen. He shall do what? And he shall have a purpose. Amen. Jehovah has become our salvation. Jesus is a, a derivative of the word Joshua. Right. Amen. But the, the meaning, praise God, means that he is actually, Jesus is actually, when you lose the uh, etymology of the word or the study of the word, that's what etymology is, the study of, of languages. Right. When you study the, the, the word of Jesus, it is actually is actually one of the Jehovahistic titles that line down the line of Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Tiskanu, Je Jehovah Jireh. Right. It is now Jesus and Jehovah has become my salvation. Right. And that's where we get the name Jesus from. Right. Praise. And that's the derivative of Jehovah is, is a derivative of, 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 the, of the name of God that the Hebrews do not want to call God and, and use his name in vain. Right. They just pick words out and made up a name because they didn't want to mess his name up. Oh, we reverence God's name like that today. I know, right? But praise the Lord, we know people do not. Right. Amen. But 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 his name shall be called Jesus. Why? For he has a purpose to deliver, amen, his people from the bondages and the wages of sins. Amen. And if and if he was a reader of the Old Testament, he would know, amen, that sin was a was an underlying theme through the whole Old Testament. Amen? Yes. Praise God. But now he's here to deliver us from that particular situation. Amen? He says here, amen, that uh, 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 his sins shall be saved people from his sins. In church, we got to be saved from our sins. I thought it was another verse here, but we're going to move on to John chapter 12. Amen? So this was the announcement that God gave us. Amen? Announcement was made. God is here speaking to, amen, Mary and Joseph, amen, to conduct a covert operation to bring Jesus into the world. Because the Bible says if the adversary knew who Jesus was, right. he would have never let him be crucified. Right. Right. As a matter of fact, it was covert because even uh, uh, the Roman rulers were trying to kill all the yes. young people under two years old to try to stop this king right. from being born. Right. Amen? Amen. So God knows how to work behind the scenes, church. Right, amen. Why are you so worried about stuff? Amen. Why are you so concerned about stuff? Amen. Just keep your hand in God's hand, and he'll work it out, and, amen, in your favor. And he's working behind the scenes in all areas of our lives. Amen. 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 So let's go ahead and shift here to extraordinary devotion. Amen. He says here in verse number, now we're going to shift to John chapter 12. Amen. And now we're going to start dealing with Jesus preparing, amen, for his death. Praise God. So sorrow before triumph is our, is our, is our lesson today. He said, verse 12, let's read verses uh, uh, 12, 1, 2, and 3. Amen? Amen. All right. Then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. There they made him a supper. And Martha served, but Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with them. Verse 3. Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Now we see here that Jesus is getting ready, <clears throat> praise him, to go, amen, and die up in Jerusalem, but he stops in a place called Bethany, a place that he would go regularly, mm -hmm. amen, and it was six days before, amen, it was a week before the Passover, right. amen, and now Lazarus was already raised from the dead, Lazarus is there as a testimony about the goodness of the Lord, and that was one of the last great miracles that Jesus did before he went up and died, amen, in Jerusalem, 
So amen. Lazarus was there, Mary was there, Martha was there. These were, amen, Mary, this was some of the, what people would like to say that Jesus, his was his kind of support system. He had a place to go when he had no place to go. He wanted to get away, he could go to Mary and Martha's house, amen, and get something that he needed, praise God. He says here, amen, that, they, they, and look, and they made something to eat. You know, we like to eat, don't we? Amen. Praise, like to come together and eat, praise God. I think that's one of the biggest things we're missing right now in COVID, is getting together and breaking bread. Right. Because in Acts chapter 2, uh, and after uh, around verse 40 or 42, it says they continue in the apostles' doctrine. They continue, they continue in the apostles' doctrine and in breaking of bread and in fellowships. Yeah. Amen. And, and one of the things that we have suffered from during this time is fellowship. Amen. 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 Praise God. So we see here the principle of fellowship is here in the word. And, right. and look, and here Mary, Martha, amen. Here it is Martha. Martha is about about the business of the house. Amen. She said, and Martha did what? And Martha served them, praise God, amen. And Mary was out doing something else once again. Remember, <laughs> praise God, when, yeah. when Mary and Martha showed up, when Jesus showed up at Lazarus' death, Martha was in the house, but Mary went out and, and engaged Jesus. Mm -hmm. Praise him. Church, what can we, what can we, what can we uh, 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 distillate from this situation? What we can pull out of the situation is that uh, we can't be so busy doing worldly stuff. Uh -huh. That's we, It's necessary. Don't get me wrong. But we also got to engage Christ. Amen? Amen. Yep. Amen. There's a time, praise God. Uh, what is, what is, is that Solomon? So there's a time to see the foot for all things. Yeah. Time to cry. Time to, time, time to laugh. Time to weep. Time, you know, time to sleep. Time to get up. Right. But you know what? There's a time where we have to dedicate and reach God. Right. Amen. And, and in these days and times, Sundays, Wednesdays, you know, your prayer time, mm -hmm. amen. Keep those days open. Don't let nothing steal those times That's away right. from you. That's right, amen. Amen? amen. That's right. Uh, yeah, and then God will give you the, give you a, a, a sufficiency. Sufficiency, I believe God will give you sufficiency and efficiency when you've got to do the things of the world. Right, amen. Amen? Right. Praise God. But I give my time, dedicate my time I need to give to the Lord. It's amazing that, uh, it's interesting how, uh, how can I say this? And when I find time to give to the Lord, it seems like everything else kind of works out. Right, man. But when I take that time from the Lord, other stuff starts breaking down. Amen. Yeah. Isn't that strange? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Taking longer to do what you used to do. Right. But, when I, but now I give my time to the Lord, and God makes everything else sufficient and efficient. Right. Amen? amen? Praise God. So, 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 so keep and protect your time with God. Can we say amen? Amen. 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 But, but Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table, amen, and ate. And remember, they, they wanted to go back and kill Lazarus again. Yeah. Because he was, because his testimony, they could not deny. Right. They knew Jesus' uh, 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 adversary, adversaries, or the adversarial ones of Jesus, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes, knew, praise God, if he started bringing folks back from the dead. Right. They knew that he was not, he was, he was, only God could do, they knew only God could do that. Right. Yeah. Amen? Even though Sadducees didn't believe in the resurrection of the dead, right. there's somebody here sitting at the table who was once dead and he's alive. Right. You know, the Lord knows how to confound the wise. Amen? Amen? Praise God and show his grace and his mercy to the simple. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, so, so, so now, so this is the dynamic that's taking place. Jesus is here. Uh, uh, Lazarus is here. Amen. And I'm pretty sure there's other people here. Martha's serving. Amen. Then Mary shows up. Amen. With this anointing, praise God. Amen. Because of her love for God. Uh -huh. When you have a love for God, church, Amen. guess what? There's nothing that's, that you will withhold from him. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. No matter how precious it is mm -hmm. between you and the Lord. Right. Amen. And, and I already said it. The most precious thing that we have is time right. in this day and age. Because yeah. time is something that we can never really get back. That's right. But right now, Mary found something. Amen. I can just see Mary saying, what can I give to the Lord to show that I love him so? Right. Figure ask yourself that question. Amen. Praise God. And it's not always dollar bills. Right. Because above your dollar bill in your checkbook, God wants you. Right. Amen. And he wants to spend time with you. Right. Amen. And he wants to fellowship with you. Right. Praise him. 
And Mary was trying to, I believe, in her mind, we see the example here, and we know how people make decisions when they are, you know how we make decisions. Mm -hmm. We're trying to decide what we're going to do for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. So she found whatever she could find, amen, and she found this ointment of spikenard. Now, spikenard ointment was a very expensive oil. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was from a very, it was not from the region. Right. It was from another region. It had to be imported into the area. Right. And it cost valuable. Amen. And, and, and what she did was, was that she used this and she anointed his feet with the oil. Praise ah, him. Amen. In the midst of everybody. Amen. And she, she was doing an open display for her devotion unto Christ. Amen. 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 And, and, and church, the Bible says that we are living epistles. Seen, written, and read of all men. Yep. We are openly showing our love towards God. Right. And the way that we openly show our love towards God is by doing and treating people the way, by, the, way the Bible tells us to treat people. Uh, Amen? Amen? We're fair. We're just. We ain't got no unjust balances hanging out in our household. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. Praise right. God. Right. Amen. Amen. We, we, we grant and give and, and do what, we, what the Lord has allowed us to do based on ourselves to the best of our ability. Right. Amen? Amen? Amen. We have a, watch this. We have a good and kind and sweet disposition. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 I don't understand. <laughs> praise, I praise him. At some point, it's okay. The Bible says, Daniel said, but why are you angry all the time? <laughs> and you are a saint of God. Right. Has not the Lord blessed you? Right. And has the Lord encouraged you? Has the Lord lifted you up? Yeah. Praise Him. And, 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 and things are always bad. Oh. <laughs> I'm going I'm to ask you, are you really connected to the Lord? Right. Because the Lord, the Bible says there's righteousness. Right way. There's joy. In the Holy Ghost. And there's peace for my mind and my spirit in the Holy Ghost. That's right. It don't say there's, there's depression, oppression, suppression, and upsetness in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Amen. Right. So, church, what I'm saying is that those things are in the power of God. Let's use those to help right. keep us strengthened right. so that people can know, amen, that you are on the Lord's side. Right. Amen. amen. He says, by this shall we know that all men are my disciples, disciples that we have what? Love. One to another. One towards another. Yes, go ahead. So, I find it very curious that she anointed his feet. Mm -hmm. She didn't look up to anoint his head. She anointed his feet. Because in another one of the Gospels, I believe she's the same woman, the Bible says she came in weeping and she brought the box and she broke it. And he told um, Simon, or some, no, no, maybe there's another situation where she anointed, somebody anointed his feet and they cried over his feet and wiped, wiped his feet with the hairs on her head. And Simon, the, person, the Pharisee that invited him to dinner, didn't even give him a, a pot to wash his feet with. Mm -hmm. Right. right. Um, but I, I find it curious that she didn't stand behind him and, and anoint his head. Right. Even for his burying, she anointed, she was not worth she got she didn't feel like she was worthy enough to stand and, and do his head. She mm -hmm. put it on his feet. Yes. And also remember the anointing of the feet or, or or the washing of the feet was always done by the lowest servant in the house. Right, right. And it was a sign of what? Humility and servitude. Right. And that's why when Jesus told uh, uh, Peter uh, uh, unless I wash your feet, you have no part in me. Right. Praise him. Amen. He he was letting him know. Peter said, well, wash my head and my hand and wash all of me. <laughs> and Jesus was letting him know that I am your what? Your servant. Right. And Mary was what? Being a what? Servant. servant. Right. And she was serving him, praise the Lord, with, the, with, with what she thought she could bestly do. Uh -huh. Jesus tells a story. Ask, ask the disciples, amen, who gave the most? Ah, right. Putting money in the treasury. Right. Putting money in the treasury. He's right. watching and he asks the disciples, hey brothers, who gave the most? There's a woman, all these men are giving out their abundance. They said this woman comes with her last two pennies or two mites, mm -hmm. puts them in the treasury. He asked who gave the most. He said, they said the woman, he said, thou hast judged righteous. Right. Amen. Right. Because the other one gave out their abundance, right. but she gave out her last. Out of necessity. Amen. Out of necessity. Right, right, right. And church, I don't know about you. But the Bible, uh, today, you know, there's so many crooks in the church. <laughs> Amen. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Amen. But, but there is a principle of a blessing that comes when I give God my last. Right. 
Right. right. Amen. There's a principle, and we need to teach the principle and encourage the people of God to understand it when God inquires or impresses upon us to do that. Amen. Because even with the uh, with the prophet uh, Elisha and the widow, she gave her last to him. Yes. And 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 he said she he asked. Uh, what you got in the house? He said, well, we got a little meal, a little oil, I'm going to bake a cake, and we're going to die. That's what she said. And the prophet said, well, give that, give that to me. Praise God. Since y'all going to die anyway, but give it to me. <laughs> Praise the Lord, and watch God do something great in your life. Right. Amen? Amen? So she gave it to him, fix a little cake, and he said, get all the best you can, get the porn, get the porn, and, she, and, and guess what happened? When she honored God first. That's the principle. She honored God first, and she gave her, gave, gave her what she had for last. And God, amen, and the, and the Bible says, and the last shall be first. Right. So that, she went from last to first. Right. She was last in finances. Now she's first right. in finances. Right. 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 Yeah. She poured out so much that she ran out of vessels. Mm -hmm. So he said, now go sell all that, pay your debt, and be blessed. Amen. Right. So, so when God, church, I said, that's why church, we got to have the Holy Ghost. we got to be moved by the Spirit that's that the right. Lord is leading us. That's right. Because sometimes he'll tell us, hey, give that, give that to me. And by faith, we give it to him. And the next thing you know, the world of abundance opens up to our hearts and minds. Amen. Right. Amen. It's easy to give out of our abundance. Right. But, it's, but, but it's, it's a trial of my faith to give God the last that I have. Right. Amen. Praise God. He says, so so she takes the spike nard, very expensive oil, and she show and she then not only does she, amen, anoint his feet with the oil, but then she wipes it with her hair. And once again, you know, the glory, the Bible says that the that the, the woman's glory, amen, is her hair. Yeah. So he, she took her glory and gave it to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Amen. Praise him. Took her glory and gave it to God because all the glory still belongs to God. That's <laughs> I praise him. Oh, I said all the glory. You know, it's interesting that God shares a lot of stuff. Yeah. But there's one thing that is exclusively unto him, and that's his glory. Amen. So she takes, and we see that she has a she has a pretty good understanding of who Jesus is. I would say that she has an advanced understanding of who she is. Right. Of who he is. Right. What will we do? When Jesus walks through the door, what will we do? I know, right? I know. Amen. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Praise God. Yeah. But guess what? He walked through the door every Every Sunday, because I got at least two people in the house. Come on, peace. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Praise Him. Yes. So we got to learn how to take our glory and do what? Give it to Him. Give it to Him Amen. during these designated times. Hope this is helping somebody this morning. Amen. Amen. He says, this close, this close out, this last part here. And look, and then the older filled the house. So everybody knew, praise God, amen, that she was doing this. Amen. And that it was open and that the, 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 the fragrance Amen. Of her sacrifice was being known unto everybody in the house. But how do you know that anytime you get ready to do something for the Lord, amen, praise God, you always got a conscientious objective. Amen. <laughs> Why I say that? Because their conscience is bad. <laughs> that what's going on in their mind is not right. That's what I'm saying. That's right. What's going on in their conscience and their mind is not, is not, how can I say this? It's not focused on the things of God. Right. Amen? Right. And we got to be careful, church, that sometimes we can allow life and this world to get our mind moving in the wrong direction. Yeah. That's why the Bible says that we got to be renewed, amen, we got to be renewed in our mind. Right. Let this mind be in you, amen, that was also where? In Christ, in Christ Jesus. Right. We got to be restored, that our mind has to be renewed because if we, amen, go on off on our own course, That's guess right. what? We're going to sooner or later be so far away from the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Yeah. But when I get my mind renewed, it helps me to focus. When I open the word of God and I read that scripture or I do that daily devotion, it renews my mind. Come on, man. When I get into prayer and I ask the Lord to help me, it renews my mind. When I come into the house of God, amen, and lift my hands and shout hallelujah and say glory, amen, and the praise team is singing their song and the preacher's preaching, who are preaching, preaching the word, it's helping to renew my mind and help me stay focused on, on keeping, amen, the main thing, the main thing. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. So I, so, so I, I got to have my mind renewed. Right. Praise God. Because you already saw in Genesis chapter 3 what happens when we left to our own devices. Right. Amen. Murray, I see your hand back there. Well, say something anyway. 
<laughs> no, but you're just 100% right on that because it's about the mind. It's about what, you know, you said something years ago. You used to say uh -oh. to your, you, that you used to say to your students, what you thinking? Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. You know, so what's on your mind? It's about that renewing of the mind. And so that question of when, when I hear people say things like, well, that's who I am, that's how I've been, that's yeah, how I'm going to be. What, what? Wait a minute. No, no. It's got to be a that's renewing right. That's right. of the mind. That's you right. have to, it has to shift. That this is where you're walking. This is the walk you're, you're, you're doing that. Right. right, right, right. So, so that that's why church. Uh, 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 thy word have I hid in my heart that it might not sin not against me. Against but I also need that. I also need the word in my mind, in my heart, in my mind. My heart right. deals with my passions and my desires, but my mind deals with my decisions. Right. And what and the and the deciding factor that 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 orchestrate my life. So I need God's word in my heart, in my mind. Let this mind be in you. That's, I just can't get that out of my. Out of my mind. Because this mind being you is also in Christ Jesus. Right. So church, amen, what happens is, uh, you know, the old the old adage, amen, you can't do right with a do wrong mind. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's, amen. Preach that. Praise amen. Your mind is corrupt. Your mind, yes. praise God, is, is polluted, amen, with chemicals. Your mind is polluted with greed. Your mind is polluted, right. amen, praise God. And that's why, amen, you can't do right. And we see Judas here because we know Judas Praise God. Amen. His mind was moving in the wrong direction. That's right. Wrong direction. Amen. Amen. You know, it was interesting that the disciples had this problem, even though Jesus, and it's interesting how God still used these guys. Right. In the midst of all their problems. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Peter, you know, you know, Peter, 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 you know, did not save the things of God. Jesus had to rebuke him, said, Peter, you, 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 you know, uh, don't die, Lord. Look, he said, if I don't die, then guess what? Amen. None of y'all will be saved. Right. Praise him. Right. He, said, he said, get behind me, Satan. You say right. the things of what? Amen. Of the world, no, not the not things, things of, the of God. He had to help Peter understand that our mind has to be in the right place, church. Exactly. Amen. 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 And, what, and, and you know, today, 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 someone say today. Today, today in our time, it's all about mental health. Amen. You know, mental health is, you know, it's always been here. We always, we all had a cousin that was a little bit, oh. you know, but we, we find out they were suffering from some kind of kind of condition. Right. Amen. And, and 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 the word of God, church. Let me share something with you. I can, I can pull a paper for you right now. That higher levels of institution, people with PhD, multiple ones, have proven if you praise God in the midst of a of a worship service, it helps your mental health. I know that's yeah. right. That's the truth, though. I can pull papers, paper after paper after right. paper, paper. As a matter of fact, they started sending people to church services. That's right. Amen. <laughs> and say, go in there and lift your hands and tell God thank you. Amen. Come on. As a means of therapy. That's right. Preach, Pastor. And we know God. And some of us won't even Sit lift on. our hands. Yes, man. And our minds are going crazy, if I can use that vernacular. Yeah, and you wonder why. <laughs> when God will come in, right. touch your heart, touch your mind, and get us get us straightened back. Straight back, back. That's right. That's right. I need because who else? Who made the mind? Come on, the Lord. The Lord. So who's better than treated? Hello, Lord. Okay. Priest pastor. Amen. You come lay on my sofa, and I'm gonna sofa you lay there. You pay me two hundred fifty dollars an hour. <laughs> and guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna break right out of the sanctuary and tell you, lift your hands and tell God, thank you. <laughs> Praise him. Right. We have church. We have the answers. Right. All we got to do is share the answers. Yes. Man. Yes. Some people do need to talk some things through. Yes, people. Some people need to work through some situations. Yes, right. they need to do that. Right. But at the end of the day, church, guess what we need to do? We need to give the praise, and glory, and honor to the Lord, and, and ask the Lord to help us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. You know, the Lord ain't gonna do nothing that we don't allow in our life. Right. Amen. What I mean by that is that He said, Jesus said, "Behold, I stand." At the door. And do what? Knock. Minister. What, what? He does what? Knock. He knocks. And if what? Any man. Hear my voice. Hear my voice. And open, open the door. The door. You, gotta hear open. you got to have a priest, Deacon Murphy. Yeah, you got to open the door. That's right. You got to play That's right. You got to open the door. And let the Lord come on in. Come on. And let the Lord look around. And look at that corner with all that stuff in there. That's right. I say, what you doing with that stuff over there? That's right. 
Well, Lord, you know, I've been holding on for 30 years. <laughs> let it go. Let me have that. Right. No, Jesus, I got it. <laughs> and that's the very thing that you need to get out that's right. of your house. That's right. He come in and look around. Because Jesus is going to cook. First thing he's going to do, he's going to come in and look around. Amen. And if anything in there that don't look like him, <laughs> he's ready and prepared to put it out. But you got to give him the permission. That's, that's right. why, I don't know, why I'm over here now, so I'm not going to talk about it. That's why people come to the altar all the time. And if you are spiritually deserving, listen to what I'm talking about. If you know if they ain't the right spirit, yep. praise God, they're going to huff and puff until the house blow down. But until they yield to God, right. I'll be like, hold up, hold up, baby. You need to hold on, stop. Mm -hmm. right. right. <laughs> you wasting your time and wasting my time. That's right. You got to open up to the Lord. That's right. And let the Lord, you know, that open up and have his way. Come on. He's going to come in and look around. And when God comes in and starts and start, and start, you know, taking some stuff out of him, pray God, then God can be effective in your life. But if you pray God, want, to, want God and the stuff, no man can serve two masters. Two masters. Preach that. Because you got a master you serve. That's right. Amen. Right now. Mm -hmm. Praise him. But, but we got to let them come in. That doesn't mean don't come to the altar. But, but when you come to the altar, that's why, praise the Lord, I let them know. I said, you got to, first of all, that's why I love when they say, if you can stand and come, that means that at least you're kind of moving in the right direction. Amen. Amen. That means you made a decision to come to God. So hopefully when you come to God, you'll be able to do what? Open up. Open up and let the Lord come in and do some things in, excuse me, in your life. Praise God. Amen. And that, and, that, and that is what we need. But we found out my time is up. He said, let me go through these last four scriptures. And then said one of his disciples, I told you, conscientious objector. His mind was normal. That's what this whole section is about. So I'm going to get through here real quick. He then said one of the disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, that which should betray him. All right? Mind moving in the wrong direction already, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Judas had a, had, 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 a, had a problem with his heart and mind from the start. Mm -hmm. But yet Jesus did what? He let him hold on to what, what he thought was valuable, though, in, though what was most valuable was what he betrayed. Mm -hmm. Judas picked between God and money. And money. Church, the battle today is still between God and money. You want to work eight, nine days a week. Right. Spend 90 hours on the job and give God an hour. The devil is a lie. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. You bring that thing up. Amen. Your priorities right. are incorrect. That's right. They're incorrect. Priorities. Amen. Praise him. That's right. Praise him. But Judas had the same problem. So and y'all thought it was a new problem. No. This, was, this is 30 AD. Come on. This is almost 2,000 years ago. Right. Same problem with the hearts of men. He said, why was not, I can see Joseph put his hand on his head and say, why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? Like he wanted to help somebody. That's right. Hey, hey. He gave a number, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Let me, let me tell you, can I share something with you? Let me tell you about a thief. <laughs> see, a thief will give you a number. But sell it for more so they can get their cut. That's right. right. Amen. Preach that. They don't steal all of it. Come on. Mm -hmm. They steal their portion. Right. Amen. So they might have been able to sell it for 500 pence. Right. But they were looking for what? 300 pence. And Judas would have walked away with 200. Oh, y'all are good. Praise him. Y'all can, can add up. Praise him. With 200 pence and put it in the pocket and keep on going. Yep. That's a thief. That's right. I said that's a thief. That's a thief. Amen. That's a and that's a thief's mentality. That's right. Mentality. That's why when Ananias and, and Sapphira, Sapphira got in trouble. That's right. Because the Bible says they held back what? A portion. A portion. Of it. That's right. Praise God of what they said. What they said was not true. Right. And that's why he said, "Why you lie right. to the Holy Ghost?" To the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And they died. Yeah, they did. I said, they died. Aren't you glad God's gracious today? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad of his grace. Because yeah, if it wasn't for God's grace, some of us would lie to Jesus too. We <laughs> praise him. Yeah. We yeah. lie to Jesus too. Right. God can, but God's been merciful. Right. Amen. 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 He says here, uh, 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 this was not, look at it says, and this, and this he said, not that he cared for the poor, uh -huh. but that because he was a, a thief right. and had the bag and bared it what was therein. Praise him. 
Amen. Then Jesus said what? He, uh, uh, Jesus told her what? Leave her alone. alone. It's interesting because I don't think any place else in the Bible where Jesus says that. Right. He said, leave her alone. Against the day of my bearing, have she what? Kept it because in a bearing, praise God, they would anoint the body, prepare right. the body right. with different type of ointments and spices. Right. And they, she was pro being the prophetic on what she was doing. Right. Exactly. Amen. And so he had to let them know. And I know the, the lesson goes on after, but it stops in verse 8. He says, uh, for the poor always ye have with you. Praise God. But me ye have not always. Amen. So he's showing that he is designated as a different uh, 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 objective, amen, than what he thought. Judas's heart, Judas' mind, praise God, was only after, amen, those finances. Right. Amen. Praise God. Instead of caring for the things of the kingdom. So church, please, 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 please ask yourself, ask yourself, am I just caring for things of money or am I caring for things of the kingdom? Preach that Because Because I might be a pseudo Judas. That's right. A pseudo Judas. A Judas in mind and in spirit. Praise him. Amen. So we have to ask the Lord, what church to help us? Yeah, Anybody yeah. glad God can help us today? Amen. Sorrow before triumph today. Yeah. Our lesson, very powerful lesson today. Amen. Next week, praise God, we're going to be dealing with the king come forth out of Isaiah and John. But here, so many things we can pull out of this lesson today. But the most important thing I think we ought to pull out of this lesson today is that our mind and heart still has to focus on the things of God and the things of the kingdom. Amen? Right. Amen. 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 And, 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 and don't get so, watch this, and even during this time of the holiday, don't get so busy without keeping in your mind that the season is still about Christ. That's right. Amen? Amen. 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 And celebrating how he brought us over another year. Amen. God bless you. God keep it as our prayer. Turn back over to the Google. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hope someone said to encourage y'all the word of God today. Come on. Clap your hands, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.